Good boy, Tucker. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hey, hey. Welcome. Work smarter where you want. Consistency is key. And remember, if it's not in Red Tail, it never happened. This is learning at its most fun. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Curtis, and I'm one of the trainers here at Red Tail. And today's Thursday webinar topic is syncing your data with the Red Tail CRM. Uh, so more specifically, what we're going to be talking about in regards to syncing your data is syncing contacts and or calendar items outside of Redtail. Um, so the main point of today's webinar is we, we've had a lot of different um, syncing options recently released, um, and I want to make sure that everyone's uh, clear of the differences between all of your options. Uh, because sometimes um, one thing that works for one option in regards to syncing calendar might be better for somebody else. Uh, so I'm going to go through each individual sync option. Uh, we're not necessarily going to go through the setup of each option because we have individual webinars for all of those. But I'm mainly going to be talking about the difference that each one of those um, options has. So first off, what I want to talk about is syncing your contacts. Um, so that's one of the first options. The options that you have is gonna be syncing with Retriever for Tailwag, which is a desktop Outlook sync. Um, so essentially it's a program that you'll download um, and then it syncs directly with your desktop version of Outlook. We also have the option to sync contacts on Retriever Cloud, either the Office 365 version or also the Google version. Uh, there's also a few other various integrations where you can sync your contacts, uh, like for instance, different planning software or marketing tools as well. Then we're also gonna talk about syncing your calendar and those options are very similar except there's one more option. We have the ability to sync an iCal feed. Uh, so iCal is, uh, is gonna be an option here. It's just for the calendar, but we also have the same options for calendar that we did on contacts where it's still retriever for Tailwag and then Retriever Cloud, both Office 365 and Google. All right, so again, it depends um, what you want to sync. So again, you can either sync contacts or you can sync calendar. You can even choose to sync both on most of these options. So first, let's dive into iCal. Um, so if you choose to sync iCal, and this is actually the what I tend to use personally. Um, so I find that anyone who uses iCal means that they they use Redtail calendar itself as their main calendar. Everything they add onto the calendar is in Redtail. When they remove it, they change it. Everything is managed out of Redtail. Reason being is iCal is a one-way sync of the calendar, and it's also view only. Uh, so what that means, if I choose to sync it with my phone or an internet calendar, it's only going to show the changes that are made on Redtail side. If I add something to the internet calendar that it's syncing to, it will not add back on Redtail. So again, keep in mind, iCal is mainly used for those people who are adding everything and managing all of their calendar items inside Redtail. They just want that calendar to show elsewhere. Um, also keep in mind that it is used for most internet calendars as long as it's uh, not an Android. So iPhone calendars like the Google Calendar Online has the ability to sync up with iCal. Um, even Outlook itself can set up uh, through the iCal feed. So let's talk about setting up the iCal feed. And so I'm going to jump over to the database. And to do that, the first thing you want to check is your preferences to make sure that it's turned on. So when I go to my name in the top right hand corner and choose manage your account, I can even go straight to preferences, but right here where it does say preferences, I can hit change site preferences. And it takes me directly to this page. Now, what I wanna do is scroll down to where I get to the calendar management section. So right here where it says calendar management, I wanna scroll all the way to the bottom of it and you'll see the very last item says allow iCal access. Now, most likely this is defaulted to on. So it should already be on, but always go in and double check. If it happens to be turned off and hit no, it's not gonna allow that to sync. But when you come over, make sure that's selected yes, hit your save preferences button so those get saved. Then you have the ability to now go turn on your iCal feed. So to do that, you come over to the left-hand side and click on calendar. And then up at the top, you'll select actions. And then second one from the bottom says subscribe to iCal feed. 
Now, depending on where you want your calendar to sync to, that's where you need to start and do this. So for instance, if you, I'm on a Mac computer and Mac itself has its own calendar program built in. So since I'm on my Mac and if I hit subscribe to iCal, that's the actual, um, uh, that's the actual calendar it's going to try and link to. So same thing goes for if you open up your phone, your iPhone itself, you log into the Redtail CRM through the browser. So don't use the mobile app. You log into the CRM through the browser, and then you go to the calendar just like here. Luckily, it's all it's since it's a touch screen, you can use your finger to manage and get around the calendar still. Click actions, then hit subscribe to iCal. After you select that, it's going to ask you if it's if it has permission to enter your calendar, and you hit OK, and then it should sync. Now, we don't have a lot of control over this sync. Um, it is designed to where the internet calendar is the one that's pulling the information. This is just opening up the link to be able to feed that information over to that calendar. And what's going to sync is all of the items that are assigned to your con to actually your username. So on your calendar, anything that's assigned to you is going to show as a view only option on that calendar. So again, this is great. And the reason I use it is um, even though I manage everything inside of Redtail, and if you do too, that's great. But when I wake up in the morning, I like to open up my phone and look at my native phone calendar there and see what's happening for the day or even right before I go to bed. So I know, you know, when do I need to be up in the morning? So again, if you're using Redtail CRM's calendar as your main calendar and managing all from there, the iCal feed is a great option because it's, there's not a lot to do with it. You just subscribe once and everything syncs over. When I add it to Redtail, it'll add to my phone calendar. But again, I can't change those calendar items. I can't add anything to my phone calendar and add back to Redtail. All right, so that's the iCal feed. So again, keep, keep in mind you need to have it enabled through your preferences and then go into the calendar where you want it to sync and then choose subscribe to iCal feed through that actions button. Now, the next sync we're going to talk about is Retriever for Tailwag. Now, Retriever for Tailwag is a desktop program that Redtail created that syncs with the Outlook version, the desktop Outlook version. Um, so what, if you have a desktop of Outlook and it's downloaded to your computer, you can actually download Retriever for Tailwag as well. So this is a one-way contact sync, and it goes from Redtail to Outlook. So contacts are limited to just one way. Uh, so when you add a contact into Redtail, it'll then sync over to your Outlook. So if you have um, actual contact records in your Outlook, it will not be brought over to Redtail. The other um, option that this can do is a two-way calendar sync. Now, it's also optional for it to be two-way. You can set it up to where it's, it's one-way calendar sync to where it only goes from Redtail to Outlook, or you can choose to have other items brought back. So you don't have to have it go two ways for the calendar, but it does have that option. Um, this is again also used uh, for PCs only because it is a desktop version. So if you're using a Mac computer, unfortunately you won't have the option to use Retriever for Tailwag. Also, when you do sync the contacts, they sync specifically through a quick list. All right, so keep that in mind. Your contacts need to be part of a quick list and you'll select which quick list that is in when setting up this program. And again, those contacts only go from Redtail to Outlook. So let's talk about setting this one up. So I'm gonna go back over to the CRM. Doesn't matter where you are in the database. If you wanna download the Retriever for Tailwag program, all you have to do is go to the question mark in the top right hand corner. Once you're here, the very last item says download Retriever for Tailwag. Now again, you need to have a PC. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I don't have the ability to download this. But once it's downloaded, it will take you through the setup instructions. You'll log in to the program once it's downloaded with your Redtail uh, username and your Redtail CRM password. And once you're logged in, then you can select which quick list that you want to sync and then how you want the calendar to sync from there. Now, if you're not familiar with quick lists, that is based off of search. Uh, so when you create a search, if I come over to contacts on the left-hand side, then up at the top, I can click on advanced search. Now I need to choose who I want to sync. Now, a lot of people will choose, I want all contact records to sync. That's definitely fine. There's different ways to create quick lists for that. But most of the time I say, well, which, which one specifically? Maybe I just want individual contact records syncing. Maybe I don't want businesses. So you can do something like where the type is equal to contact 
and then the this is going to be type so the field will be type and we'll say equal to individual so i can run that search and it's going to bring up all individual contacts if i don't want businesses and then once you decide what you want your parameters to be you hit save and then you can name the quick list i highly suggest that when you name the quick list you make one specifically for retriever for tail wag uh, so you can come in here and you can name it and again you could you can call it outlook sync you know uh calendar sync or contact sync whatever you want um, but putting it in here gives it the ability to um to actually know i don't want to delete this quick list because it's it's an actual used for a tool so it, when you name it as such you know exactly what it's used for so once you save that quick list and then you open up the program you can choose which quick list you want to sync now, again, if you want your contacts to sync, you don't have to have the contact sync. You can have just the calendar sync. But if you choose to have your contact sync, you need to have a quick list selected. Otherwise, you will get an error during the sync because it's trying to sync contacts, but nothing is available to sync. Even if you want contacts on, but you're not sure if you want anything to sync over, you can create a quick list that has nobody on it as well. You can just choose, you know, name equal to zero. Uh, there's many different options for creating the quick list where you can bring up absolutely nobody, but it still needs to try and sync with some sort of quick list. But again, if you don't want contact syncing, then you don't need to worry about it because it's not going, you can just turn it off and not even have to create a quick list for it. Now also, for Retriever for Tailwag, this is the desktop version, it syncs everything assigned to your, your username. But because Outlook Desktop does have two different options, they have calendar and they have tasks, anytime you create an activity, so if I click on the calendar, if the type is set as task, and this is, if it's set as task in Redtail, it's going to sync to the task section of Outlook. And you can turn that on or off or, or not. If it's set to anything else, like appointment, phone call, or any of your custom types, then it's going to sync directly to the calendar. But the activity type of task is hard-coded to sync directly to the task section of Outlook. So keep in mind there is a difference on your calendar. If you choose task, it's going to go to a different section. It won't go to your Outlook calendar. It'll go to your Outlook tasks. And then again, the calendar on Retriever for Tailwag is a two-way optional sync. So it defaults to one way where it's red tail to Outlook, but you can also choose to turn it on to where it's two-way. That means if I add something to Outlook, it'll also add it back to my red tail, uh, my red tail account. Now, when you do that, it's definitely fine to add things on the Outlook side, but if it's something assigned to a, a contact or a client record, if you do it on Outlook, you will still want to go into Redtail and then link that contact to the appropriate activity. So still, you want to, when using any of these tools, you still want to consider Redtail as the main program. So it is much easier and efficient when um, you, you add everything on Redtail, attach the client right there, and then it syncs over to Outlook. I don't have to remember to go back and attach the client later. All right, now the next two options are the Retriever Cloud. Um, and I've combined those onto one section here because there is two versions of Retriever Cloud depending on what you want to sync. Both versions work the same way to where it's a two-way contact sync and also a two-way calendar sync. Um, so that's defaulted both ways. Um, when, it, when you set up the actual integration, it actually creates a specific Redtail folder on Office 365 or Google um, for the Redtail calendar and the Redtail contacts. So those are the folders that you need to sync to on the Google or Office 365 side in order for them to come back to Redtail. Uh, the great benefit of using Retriever, for, Retriever Cloud is it's all web-based and also it's instant. After the initial sync, if I add an activity on either side, it'll automatically sync over right away to the other program. All right, so again, this is um, this is going to be instant because it is web-based. It's not on your desktop to where it needs to run in different iterations. This is a great tool to use. And again, I mentioned it, it, but it does sync with Office 365 or Google, so directly with the Google Calendar. So even though the iCal version that I talked about at first can sync with iCal as a view-only option, if you're a heavy Google Calendar user and you want all of your items to sync back to Redtail, 
this will be the, the, op the option that you want to choose. Now, the difference for Retriever Cloud versus Retriever for Tailwag is the contact sync by tag groups. Unfortunately, they do not sync by the quick list themselves. They sync by tag groups because we need to select those contacts so they're actually part of a specific list. So let's go back over to the CRM. And if you want to turn on your, your, uh, your actual Office 365 or Google integration using Retriever Cloud, what you're gonna do is each individual user who wants to set it up goes to their name in the top right-hand corner. Then you're gonna choose Manage Your Integrations. Once you select Manage Your Integrations, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find Retriever Cloud. So it's gonna be right here, you'll see Retriever Cloud. Make sure it's on. If it's off, it won't be in this list. You just have to click on the Disabled Integrations and turn it back on. And then you're gonna choose the, the Settings icon and select Settings. This will bring up to where you can choose. This will say enable on both these. So I have them both set up already. But when you enable it, it's gonna it's going to start the sync process where you'll go through and then you'll sync your Google or your 365 depending on what you wanna set up. You'll also notice right here, it says sync tag group. So before you do enable it, you do need to choose which tag group that you wanna sync. So make sure that you do have that set up. All you have to really do is just create the name of it first and then you can add the contacts later. But again, this is going to be the contacts that are going to sync between the programs. And these contacts, again, do go both ways. It's the only option where the contacts can sync both ways, either added on Redtail or Google or Office 365. Now, once the, that's enabled, again, also make sure you have your tag group set up. So if you want to build a tag group, there's multiple ways. One of them is coming to contacts on the left-hand side. Up at the top, you can click on lists and then select tag groups. And then you have the ability to choose add on the right hand side and then you can name it however you want again i highly suggest naming it something specific to we have retriever cloud sync group we've even put a dash in front of it so it stays up at the top of our tag groups uh, so anytime i add a brand new contact record on the add contact screen i can select which tag group i want to sync and if i want it to sync to my my retriever cloud i automatically select that one so this is a great option to use um, when, when, again, if you want your contacts going both ways. If you add it on Google or Office 365, it will sync back and add itself to your red tail. All right. So next, uh, next I do want to talk about just various other integrations that do have options of syncing data with red tail. Um, now, one of them itself is, is an, an actual third-party integration that we have called Zapier. Um, this is a great tool that deals with automations. Um, so for instance, if you um, add a calendar item or if you, um, and you want it to sync elsewhere, uh, currently like we're using the program Zoom uh, to do this webinar, I have Zapier integrated with my calendar and Zoom itself. So every time I create a Zoom meeting, it automatically adds it to my calendar on Redtail. It creates that activity, and that's all through using the company Zapier. So it is a great option to go check out. We have lots of information on our help desk, um, and it's more than just with Zoom. It can also be used with calendar schedules like um, uh, Schedule Once or Calendly. There's all these different options that are other programs that Redtail doesn't directly integrate with, but you can use Zapier as a bridge between us and then those other programs. So I highly suggest to go check out Zapier. They do have a, a free option and, and there is a subscription option as well. I use the free option and haven't had any issues with it. It's absolutely great. It's worth checking out. Um, also, there's other like marketing programs. Um, so if you do marketing and Redtail integrates with them, these integrate the same way like Retriever Cloud where it syncs with tag groups. So you can create different tag groups of contacts and those sync over to the different marketing programs. Uh, similar to like FMG Suite or FMX, um, actually quite a few different integrations that we have with marketing. Um, also in regards to syncing contacts data, contact data, we have financial planning tools. So if you use something like eMoney or MoneyGuide Pro, you have the ability to sync your contacts uh, from Redtail over to those programs. So you would always start in Redtail as your main hub and send the contacts over to those programs as well as different form filling software. So if you use like LaserApp, um, you can start in Redtail and send the contacts to LaserApp. A lot of the contact syncing itself is just to help with 
um, less duplic duplicate data entry. Um, and so for those, when you're working with any of those integrations, most of them only work when you start in the contact record. Uh, so I'm going to choose my recently viewed up here in the top right, and we're just going to go into Clark Kent's record. So when you're in a contact record and you choose the integrations icon in the top right hand corner, depending on what you're, you're working with. So for instance, if it's eMoney, I can select that integration and then I can choose the send to. Anytime you see send to for another program and you're in a contact record, it's sending that contact record over to that other program. All right, so that's where the contact sync is with, with that program, is it's just creating the contact record on their side based off of the information that you already have in Redtail. Same thing goes with Laser App, or again, or even Money Guide Pro, you send to, and actually quite a few others that we have, where the contact data can't sync. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800 206 5030 option three for support or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com thanks a lot and have a great day